Hello YouTube, it's your girl Kimberly. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss is Gelex bad for your nails? So if you want to know more, keep watching. Before we get into our subject at hand for today, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I truly appreciate it. Can you please subscribe to the channel? It is a easy and free way for you to support all the videos I make here, nails, beauty, skincare. We talk about a lot of stuff here and we want you to be a part of the crew. So join us, hit that subscribe button, like the video if you like the video, and hit the notification bell if you want to be first to know when I post a new video or when I go live. So I've seen a lot of controversial videos of people saying Gel X messed up their nails, Gel X destroyed their nails, and Gel X is bad for their nails. So, what I'm going to say is that I don't agree with that. <laughs> I have a Gel X kit. Um, as you can tell by my nails, I'm not going to show you my thumb because I broke it. Um, I wear acrylic nails. I've been wearing acrylic nails for years. I did have a Gel X set. I was doing Gel X nails for a little bit. And my experience is it's not that Gel X is bad for your nails. You are a professional nail tech, so you're not doing it right, and you're messing up. Like, it's as simple as that. So, I have seen a lot of people who are starting off in the nail industry, and in order to be able to charge people for full sets, but they don't have the skill to, like, sculpt and create and make acrylic nails, they basically do, like, a quick-to-get-started process where while they're learning how to do acrylic and soft and hard gels they in the meantime say oh I'm a gel X nail tech and they just want to do gel X on people until they actually learn how to do hard gel and acrylic nails and because they're doing that people are now thinking okay well now I w went to this person I got gel X and it's messing up my nails one how long have they been in the nail industry if it's somebody who just is starting off with nails, then there is like a learning curve for them where they're going to make mistakes. They're going to try to um, figure out the best way to do things. They might do too much filing with the e-file and damage your natural nail. Um, they might not let it cure correctly. So then you, you have problems with breaking, which is also now putting your natural nail at risk. Um, so there's all these kind of issues that are user error that can lead to your nails being damaged. And it's not the Gel X fault. If you're one of these people who are applying Gel X at your house yourself, like I was, you are not a professional nail tech. And you're learning um, cure times, what products mix with what, how much of your natural nail layer is gone to make a good structure for Gel X. And did you file away too much so now that your nail is more compromised, the whole Gel X enhancement is going to struggle and have issues because of damage that you created to your nails because you're not a professional nail tech and you don't necessarily know how to do it right at the beginning and that for you there's going to be a learning curve where you might be messing up your own nails at first but then as you practice and the more times you do it you will then get better at it and know how to do it with causing less damage to your nail so what i will say is i feel like all of these things take a learning curve don't just buy the kit and watch a half a video like invest the time to I would say you need to watch at least 30 minutes worth of YouTube videos or TikToks about how to apply gel X before you started doing it yourself if you watch one video for four minutes and you're like and now I'm doing gel X you're gonna destroy your nails you're gonna destroy your nails there's different products that go at different times that need to be applied different ways and cured at different times in the lamp is it a full cover tip is it going to be a removed tip is it going to be a tip that you're leaving on the nail to wear as an extension what is the slope of the tip do you did you pick the right size tip for your size nail like there's so many different things that you have to understand the strategies behind and how to do it best and how to correctly apply it so you don't mess up your nails and if you miss any one of those steps your nails are jacked up and that's just the way it is so no gel x does not destroy your nails and you need to take the time to apply it correctly don't try to do the gel x right before the event like possibly do it the weekend before that way if you mess it up too bad you can still run to the nail salon like 
these things take time you have to be patient you're learning the ways to do it best case scenario is if you could even do it on another person and they do it on you that way you guys it's easier to do those kinds of things to someone else and to learn it then to start doing it on yourself especially if you have a dominant hand and a non-dominant hand then that makes it even more challenging trying to do it on yourself for the first time and all of these things are opportunities for you to make mistakes that ultimately lead to you giving yourself nail damage so if you hear people saying like oh john lux damages my nails john lux damaged my nail like look at how long have you been doing nails are you good at this do you know what you're doing are you using the right steps are you using the right products do you have a system or did you hodgepodge a whole bunch of different things from amazon to try to get a gel x situation um did you buy the cheapest gel x thing that was there um and what were the reviews for it because if you bought the kit that had the whole bunch of one and two star reviews why would you think that your gel x nails would be gorgeous like the the people told you that this was bad so I would definitely say don't rush to blame it on the gel -X system. Um, it's all about who's applying it, how's applying it, what tools and tips they have, and do they have practice doing it. And if you're doing it yourself, like I said, it is worth it to invest the time to watch the videos, to learn the process, to see how people are doing it before you just run out buy a kit and try to apply it. Like you need to, it'll be worth it, especially since you're saving money from going to the nail salon spend 30 minutes 45 minutes watching different videos save the videos to a playlist so that way when you're doing your nails you can go back and refer to specific videos to help you um you can do the gel x on your own but like i said you just need to make sure that you're not inflicting damage on your natural nails by the way that you are applying it um and that is my two cents so if you have tried gel x let me know what your experience was in the comment section below like i said i tried it for a little bit but i am a go get the nails done girl i rather try to fight my hair out on my own i could do the hair and makeup i just need someone to do my nails but um let me know your two cents about gel x in the comment section below and i'll talk to you in the next video bye Just like the street lights lit this time, like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down.